Basically, a reflex is a, um, a nervous system response to some detected change, okay? So if we have sensory neural input here, so let's say something changes along the epithelium, and this um, ganglia responds by stimulating the submucosal and myenteric plexus. That's a short reflex, right? We had a change, that change resulted in a change, right? So that's a reflex. We have short reflexes and long reflexes, right? So some are entirely within the gut wall, plexus to plexus, all right? So those are the shortest ones. Some are from the gut wall to the prevertebral ganglia and back again, okay? So we go from gut to ganglia and back, so those are sort of the middle ones. And then some go from gut wall to the spinal cord or brain stem and then back, so longest one. Now, reflex length and speed go together, okay? The shorter the, the reflex, the faster it can respond. In other words, the less neurons involved, the quicker the response. So the plexus to plexus changes are very fast, less than a second, okay? The gut wall to ganglia reflexes are a few seconds. And then gut wall to spinal cord and back, you're talking about 15, 20 seconds, right? So they get longer. Now, the, um, the flip side of that, short reflexes can only be very simple, right? Because you don't have a lot of nervous system doing processing. So the, the short reflexes have to be basic. The, the medium reflexes um, can have more of an effect, but are still limited. Brain reflexes can do anything, right? But they take a much longer amount of time. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> we, and we're gonna see examples of these as we go. Um, so some, uh, like some short visceral reflexes that um, you will hear about, like gastrocolic. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Now she's now we're gonna have trouble. Callie would be she loves the water. My other cat loves the water. She'd be playing there. Alright, sorry. Gastrocolic in babies. Alright, gastrocolic reflex goes like this. If you put food in the stomach, the colon empties. Anybody done some babysitting? When you feed a baby, what happens? Yeah, they empty their colon. That's the gastrocolic reflex in, in full color, right? We grown-ups have it too, okay? And it does make sense. If you're adding new stuff to the GI tract, you've got, got to get rid of the stuff that you no longer need out the other end. So that's one. Enterogastric is um, <coughs> intestine to gastric, okay? So like, let's say you ate a really fatty meal, right? and <clears throat> fat takes a long time to digest. Well, the intestine sends a signal to the stomach to slow down so that um, material takes, has longer to digest. Okay, so that's one. And then colonal ileal uh, reflex, this is when the colon, or when the ileum gets full of material, it opens and sends that material into the colon, right, into the um, first part of the large intestine, into the cecum as you guys have probably already seen. Okay, so those are some um, plexus to plexus uh, connections. In terms of longest reflexes, right, so um, <clears throat> the coordination of gastric activity. One of the interesting things that happens is even before you eat, the stomach is ready for you to put food in it, okay? So that means that somehow the stomach knows that you're about to eat. Well, you're gonna need the brain for that kind of endeavor, right? So um, thoughts of food, smells of food, um, that's the brain. The brain will tell the stomach, okay, start secreting acid, start secreting digestive enzymes because food is on the way, right? So that's an example of a long reflex. Pain reflexes, when a patient's in pain, their GI tract tends to slow way down, sometimes even stop. We call that an ileus in, in the sort of medical vernacular. Um, <clears throat> but 
that too. How the the gut can't doesn't know that the person's in pain, but the brain does, and the brain slows down the GI tract. Now, why? It's a sympathetic nervous system effect. If you're in pain, you should probably be fighting or fleeing, not digesting, right? So it does make sense. And then the defecation reflexes um, in the grown-up, in, in the person who is um, continent of feces, that, of course, is a brain um, uh, level reflex as well, because it's only the brain that knows that the organism is in a situation where defecation is reasonable, right? So <clears throat> examples of all three.